we'll be talking a little bit about uh, this model aerobatic, precision aerobatic flying that we do. And essentially, there, there's some international rules that you have to comply with. Um, and that's really the size. The, the planes can't be bigger or wider than two meters um, long. And uh, very importantly, they uh, can't weigh more than five kilograms. So this plane's called the Alchemy. Um, it's an F3A International design by Brian Herbert, as I said, in the United States of America, constructed by Extreme Composites. It's just on two meters in length and, and just under two meters in width. Uh, this particular plane's a, a monoplane. It, it has a single wing construction. As you can see, it's, it's, it's got a really big fuselage. Um, for some of the, the hard um, extreme flying that we do, where we basically have to fly the, the airplane on a knife edge on its side, um, and then we start to use the, the side of the, the fuselage actually as a wing for lift. is is really precision made for, for the kinds of aerobatic maneuvers that we do. When, when one gets, uh, gets the plane, uh, it essentially comes um, without any of the, the electronic or the motors or, or the installation gear that one then needs to decide on installing. And so one has a lot of flexibility in terms of the type of electronics and, and, and speed controller, the, the type of propulsion system. Uh, most of us are running electric, so this plane is, is running on lithium polymer batteries, really big batteries, so same technology we use in our cell phones and laptops, but just on a much bigger scale. So the main battery pack is a 5,000 uh, uh, milliamp hour battery here, strapped in on a strap so that when we fly an aeroplane it's not going to move around at all. Um, and just before takeoff I, I plug it in and uh, then we arm it, um, and then I've got uh, a huge uh, power source on supply. I see you've got uh, two packs bonded together then. How, how many S is that? So this is a 10 cell, which uh, okay. it's, there are 10 lithium polymer uh, series, cell batteries eh? and uh, that's made up of two 5 cell packs that we put together in series to get the voltage that we want. Um, and this battery is, 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 is rated to be able to supply that 100 amp uh, plus peak power that we need when we're doing extreme things. Um, and uh, this power pr propulsion is in the region of about 3 kilowatts maximum power. Uh, which is which is really a, a huge amount of power considering the weight of the aircraft. I, I see you've got uh, props that are it's like a double set of props. Can you talk about yeah, that? Yeah, so this is what's called a contra-rotating propeller drive. So uh, this particular unit is, is made by, by Brenner in, in, the, uh, in the US of A um, and is really state-of-the-art in terms of um, the propulsion system. What you've got is essentially one motor um, and then there's a torque reduction gearbox built into the spinner um, and this is really cleverly with its own uh, um, uh, clutch plate allows these two propellers to rotate in opposite directions so we've got a reverse pitch. So the one propeller is turning the one direction, the other propeller is turning the other direction. Um, what this gives us, us is really nice torque control, wonderful speed control and a lot of stability um, in terms of um, the, the airflow over the side of the, the, the airplane. So it really helps with some of the maneuvers that we do. So inside is, is obviously we've got the motor and we've got the electronic speed controller that we use to vary the, the power setting on the motor. Um, inside is the, the main power battery pack uh, that supplies that motor. We've also got a, a much smaller separate uh, battery that we use for powering the control electronics on the, on the aircraft. So that's really for all of the onboard servos. It's essentially it's, it's a much safer perspective in terms of if we, if we do have a, a low battery problem um, or an issue on our main power drive, we still have full power onto the rest of the aircraft. So if we do have a motor problem, even though we might not be able to glide for long, we've still got full control of the aeroplane. The skin of this aeroplane looks uh, rather thin, just to, to demonstrate. So, so it really is. So it, the plane is, is made to be strong enough for the, the, the aerobatics that we do in the air um, but because of the weight requirements um, one of the key issues is is really just keeping the, the whole weight of the aeroplane within legal limits um, but in order to keep the, the, the weight as, as down as much as possible because of the size of the aeroplane um, these surfaces are extremely thin and there's only a couple uh, fabrication um, uh, what would you call it plane production facilities in the world that would make this kind of model Wow, and um, how how fast typically does this plane go when you when you're flying, and what sort of takeoff and landing distance is required? These planes we we, we fly at what we call a constant speed, so it, it's part of our, uh, our our judging criteria. We we fly try fly the same speed up, the same speed down, the same speed horizontally, and our normal flying is in the region of about 120 kilometers an hour, um, so relatively quick. 
Um, and the, the takeoff really depends a lot on, on the wind uh, magnitude and, and direction. Uh, one typically needs around about 40 to 50 meters of runway in order to be able to take off. And uh, you know, the normal standard runway lengths on the excess of 70 meters or longer is for land.